everybody. Welcome back to Hers is Hers. I'm Tay Nikki. Hold on, it's hers and hers. Hers and hers. <laughs> hers and hers. Her and hers. Okay. Hey everybody. Welcome back to Hers and Hers. I'm Tay Nikki. I'm Nick Space. And we are here with Cleo A. Cleo A. Hello guys. Hello, Cleo. Thank you so much for <laughs> For coming in today and taking some time to chat with us. For sure. I'm super excited. We're awesome. excited. What's we're excited. Yeah, honestly. We're li- we were a little giddy before we got here, you know, excited getting our juices flowing. This is our first recording with a guest, so we're honored that you could be here with us and, you know, kind of help us put forth our vision and bring it to life. For sure. I'm so excited. No, but really. And then the cool part about hers and hers is that we actually customized cocktails to our guests. So we actually made a super cute cocktail for Cleo A today. Today we are having a citrus honey cocktail. It has honey, sage, mint, some lemon, and some agave. So yeah, you know, that's super my vibe. Nice. Yeah, this is your vibe. This okay, is good. My vibe. Nice and colorful. <laughs> Anything with tequila also is my vibe. Yes, so that's why I asked. I was like, what's your what's your drink of choice? And then we kind of built something around that. Yeah. We used information from just like different projects that you've created. We even pulled a photo from your Instagram that we felt like kind of like matched yes, we're the visual really? of this drink. Yeah, we, oh, yeah. we did the most. Y'all did some <laughs> research. And the crazy part is not only is the drink tailored to her, but we're all... Coordinated. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Y'all, that's y'all it. might not be able to see us unless you watch the live visual, but we're out here and we're repping our LA Lakers Period. today. We got the purple and gold. I'm not today. actually a Lakers fan, but RIP Kobe. I don't even know sports. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> so. I'm from LA, so I have to like, I have to represent. Period. Oh, period. Okay, so period. we really did our thing today. No, like this was not planned at all. Just so y'all know, like we pulled up. All get, got Random. dressed individually, and this is just how how it happened. This is just how it happened. It was divine. That's how I feel. We call that hashtag alignment. Period. <laughs> so we like to start off um, after introducing our cocktail. We like to learn a little bit more about our guests. So, Cleo, is there anything that you want to just tell us as a basic intro, and then we'll kind of get into some of the questions? Um, Okay, so my name is Cleo Armstrong. Um, I am a stylist. Well, I'm known for styling, but I'm transitioning into being a creative director. Um, I just do a lot of, I like doing a lot of like behind the scenes creative aspects of any project. Um, Yeah, that's pretty, and I'm a Scorpio. That just tells you. Scorpio gang, but I knew that. I love Scorpios. Yeah. That's just, just, just to sum it up. Little no, really? side note, inside joke. My daughter loves Cleo. Like, <laughs> w- she met her on set at a photo shoot, and she was just all over her, like, trying to hug her, just loving Cleo's energy. That's so much fun. And my daughter's a Scorpio as well. And on my Instagram, she'll go to your Instagram page, and she'll look at your pictures. <laughs> she knows how to do it. I'm not even kidding. Like, That's wild. I will record her one day if I have time, but... She goes to your Instagram page. It is like oh the God, weirdest I'm obsessed, thing. Sorry. I'm so obsessed she, with her. She's obsessed with you as well. So <laughs> the feeling is super mutual. Oh my gosh. I That's feel a warm too. inside. And I think people don't understand about Scorpios. They don't really be fucking with everybody. No. They so, don't. <laughs> they I be thought, chilling. Yeah. So like, I it thought, was a true surprise. I thought Geminis were selectively social. Scorpios really do not vibe unless they are vibing. Yeah. So for a Scorpio baby... Yeah, yeah, that's like, good. Yeah. That's literally Cleo. like, yeah, you. It might be an oracle. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good ginger. It might be an oracle. Yeah. I'm like, babies don't be vibing right at all. <laughs> they don't. They pick up on energy so quick. So they I'm do. like, I'm, I'm. That is really like key for me. When yeah, a baby is like. Because, yeah, kids don't play about that type yeah, of thing. Yeah, when babies aren't like, comfortable, that not, person might not be oh, right. Yeah, exactly. You know? So I'm like, for her to run up, and then she will, she on IG with it. Hold on. Yeah. Now. Oh, yeah. She's not even two years old using a phone. That These new crazy. babies. That's your fault because you don't gave birth to that baby genius. <laughs> I'm saying. It's that macaroon. I'm not going to say she's a genius, but she definitely <laughs> smarter than the average baby. <laughs> 
I saw a baby cooking eggs yesterday on TikTok. All right. Oh my gosh, I saw that too. I'm done. <laughs> my daughter can't cook eggs. That's not. That's a problem for me now. Now I'm getting competitive. <laughs> she making cheese I'm eggs. I'm going to have to teach her yeah. to cook cheese eggs. I saw that. That was interesting. And he really snapped. I was like, yeah. hold on. He put the garlic powder in there. Yeah, that's a, that's a good. That takes a lot of work to just teach a child under the age of two to do anything. Like honestly. a one-year-old. Yeah, that's. That I know men at the tender age of 37 who cannot make cheese eggs. So for a one-year-old <laughs> and a hot plate to achieve seasoned eggs. Yeah, this is that's, She that said is. the tender age of 37. You are crazy. Uh, you 36. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so I like to do, you know, I like to do check-ins. Let's, let, how's everybody feeling today? Like, what is your current mood? Is there anything that you're specifically reflecting on that has happened in the past couple days or the past week that y'all want to you know touch on mine um my mental health month i had it all august so Mm. i'm like transitioning out of it right now so it's just like wow i'm have to go back to like work and 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 all this it's like it's like a I had the quarantine of a month. Like, I really did the whole thing again. And now I have to go back into society and, like, be around people and, like, kind of just get back into it. But I feel refreshed. Yeah. Like, I really genuinely do. So I'm, like, ready. I feel like those breaks are really important. Yeah, what does that look like? Were you taking a break from socials? Were you participating in a particular like exercise like what is something that you did entail for cleo yeah i did get off socials a little bit i'm like on and off of it like i don't get on and it is work as well it's a job yeah that's the transition that's Mm -hmm. hard Mm -hmm. for a lot of people yep so i don't do that i I read more i'm outside more i'm like i'm probably not i'm like not i'm not posting as much i'm actually enjoying no you're actually like enjoying the i was there yeah i was actually living yeah yeah, I didn't, I didn't think anything of it. So, but now I'm just like, yeah, like, I had it. I'm ready to get back in there. I had a good, like, six-month run. I needed a break, and I was just like, okay, I need to take this one right now. Like, right here is the time, and so I just did it. Good. Yeah. I, honestly, I love hearing about more women, especially black women, taking time for themselves. I'm Absolutely. currently going through a mental, a mental health year. It's been two years for me. Um <laughs> So I plan on not stopping it anytime soon. <laughs> so, <laughs> it felt too good. It really is. Too, you couldn't it, just give them a month. It's too sweet in the center. I really yeah. can't. Like I was like twelve months. Let's make it another year and another one. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm just yeah. So I definitely I definitely respect that because you know what I remember I was having this conversation like a little while ago about how hard it is for content creators to actually take space in like right. mental health breaks mm-hmm. because of how much we consume like content nowadays it feels like you take a month three weeks off it feels like you're just out the loop yeah so it's so hard to try to keep and it's so sad like sometimes i know people will literally be like yeah i'm still on and off and i'm like that's the hard part you really can't be off all the way if this is your job because you have to survive literally and i'm just like damn joe biden yeah how joe biden (laughs) okay kamala like like, someone help it's definitely like yeah 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 what about you, Tay? Me? How, is it, how has it been for you? I have not been off of social media. Mm-hmm. I have not taken enough time to myself in these past couple months. I'm not even going to lie. Um, but, yeah, I would like to get to a point where I'm doing that. I've just been very – I've just been reflecting a lot. Mm-hmm. I, I've, I've been kind of obsessing over social media because I feel like it's the only way that I can stay aware of how I'm treating the people around me. And, like, being conscious of, like, things that other people might be going through, such as natural disasters, loss of family members, and all the, you know, other crazy things that are happening in the world. Like, I feel like I need to be aware of those things so that I can be more gentle in my day-to-day interactions with, you know, anyone that I come into contact with. So, you know, I don't know if it's necessarily the healthiest way for me to (laughs) get Nick is shaking her head. I don't know if it's the healthiest way for me to, you know, be on social platforms. But right now it feels like it's so necessary for me in my personal life. Um, But, yeah, maybe I should take a little break. I realized that, like, I was the same way. And when you're, like, emotionally sensitive or, like, you know, like, more empathetic, you know, like, you tend to really pick up on a lot of people's emotions. And people don't understand that even though we're on screen, like, digitally, there's still an energy transfer. 
like regardless of whatever is happening. And mm. then unfortunately, like we weren't human beings were not created to consume this much trauma on a regular basis. So yeah. I feel like I do the same thing where I'm online and I'm transparent, you know, I'm, I'm checking in with people, but at the same breath, I cannot be on Twitter and Instagram every day. Cause I would just simply throw myself in traffic. Yeah. Right. No, so it's too much. It. So I'm like, yeah, it's a lot. So I, that's so sweet of you to really even consider stuff like that to think about like, you know, let me check in on people online, even though they be lying. Cause you know, your yeah. friend ain't in no damn race. Ain't girl, wrong I know with these hoes. Girl, you with the <laughs> Talking about some damn race. I realize so, I like being busy though. I love yeah. being busy, and I think yeah. that is my problem. Did yeah. Did your break just kind of help you realize that? Yeah. yeah, I had so much reflection that I, it kind of I was like, "Am I? Is this really? Is this really happening?" Like, where it was too much. It, I was thinking too much of myself. Like, it was too much. I feel like reflection a little bit where I was overthinking. Things. Mm. There was days where I was just like, like, am I, is my good, like, am I good enough? Like, where am I at? Honestly, like, you know, the whole thing. I feel that. I feel like a lot of times, like, the only reason why we get that introspective is because we don't really take the necessary time for ourselves when we need to. Mm-hmm. So it feels like an over- overwhelming wave yeah. of emotions at once. Exactly. Because that's how I was feeling. I was like, let me take oh three months gosh. off. And then I sat down for three months. I said, you remember that time in 2017? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> when I was outside of Edgewood? <laughs> and, I, and then I'm like, currently, I'm like, girl, you never processed any of that. So, nope. of course, you know, it's beating down on your back now that you have this, you know, like silence, which I feel like happened yes. a lot with quarantine, which yes. is why everybody was online like, help. Yeah. Because yeah, out. because work is therapy. Like uh-huh. a lot of times, like you'll go to a therapist and they'll tell you that people will literally like work right to keep themselves busy, and mm-hmm. that's you don't bu- have to think about emotionally, it emotionally, psychologically. Mm-hmm. So when we all had to sit down, everybody was like, "Wait, mm-hmm. that was a lot of reflection there, bro. What? It was needed. Now that one, yeah. I'll I'll always say was a much the most needed thing I've ever needed. Like just wanted. quarantine. Yeah, that, intro, that introspection. Oh, oh my, my god. god. I've changed since then. I've, I'm a whole... Person. I don't even know who yeah. I was at the beginning of quarantine, but I don't want to talk to her right now. <laughs> like, I just... I don't know. But the level of introspection, like, that I did, and then, like, just observing what was going on outside has taught me so much mm-hmm. about, like, people mm-hmm. valuing, like, my interpersonal relationships, mm-hmm. my family, like, what I want, you know, what I want from the people in my life. I don't know. Quarantine... Perspectives. Listen. Ooh. Maybe we should quarantine, like, every Sunday. Like, if, if we had, like, if everyone had to take a break every Sunday, no matter what, you have to take a break. You have to do whatever it feels. Go to the park, stay in your house, take a little extra um, longer to wake up in the morning and yep. get out of your bed. Girl, black female hairstylist been doing that for the last six years. You need to okay, girl, stop it right I, now. I can't even find one black woman who work on a Sunday. <laughs> You need to stop. What the braid girl do this week? <laughs> the filet workers get that too. I'm like, yes, Sundays they do off. get a nice Sunday they break. Get a Sunday break. Yeah, that's white Jesus doing mm-hmm. over there. Chick-fil-A stop break. playing. You are. <laughs> you are. Don't let them off on a Sunday, girl. We be at the Methodist. <laughs> <laughs> we at Donda. <laughs> Not the Sunday. Nah, that is so funny. Okay, let's get into some of these questions, Nick. Okay. You wanna you wanna yes. kind of jump off with that and find out a little bit more about what you know what's Cleo A got right? going on. I feel like your life is like so serene. Like your your energy is giving me like no, your energy is like so calm. It so is. I really feel like can you just like run me by like what is a day in the life of like Cleo look like? What is like a a Monday through Friday look like for you? Like, um, actually, it's really chaotic. Okay. So, oh, I love. Oh, <laughs> so I, the yeah, I am engulfed in chaos. Probably like majority. I am going back and forth throughout the city. I am making calls. I am. I am. Yeah, back and forth. I am back and forth. Just on the phone with people constantly. Um, Picking up clothes, returning them, UPS, talking to the my assistants. How can we make this? Can we pack this? On? Yeah, I heard that. Okay. I it's it's a it's a it's not even. I'm, I'm very blessed for it. Like I'm very blessed for the chaos that I have, and so it keeps me calm. Like I used to be one of those people that like um, when it was chaotic, I would I would feel chaotic. I would get, internally, but you, I would yeah. be internally. Now I'm like. 
when I see the chaos, I'm just able just to really step outside of it. Because if truth, that is a, yeah, such I'm a really Scorpio able just statement. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, wa- I can just literally Jesus watch Christ. it. Y'all so. literally, the whole world will be on fire. Y'all be like, mm, does anybody, can I get some more ice, please? <laughs> right. <But> like, <laughs> That's exactly, I feel like I'm more in tune with that now. So it's just like, the chaos for me is, is still just like a, a regular day. I feel that too. I feel like a lot of times like you can really once you have once you're so used to like things happening like that, you can really build your own routine of how you stay sane. Mm -hmm. So like what would be like oh, let's get into it. Like what would be in your bag? Like what's 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 something that you feel like are necessities for in order for you to feel like you can get through a day without choking a bear? Um, I super need coffee. I do not I cannot go a day without my coffee. Okay, wait, Mm. what's your go to coffee drink? What is my go to what? Okay, like, how do you like your coffee? There's two. There's two versions. Like, I go, uh, I go two versions. So I get either like a chai tea latte, or oh, okay. I get, oh, yeah, wow. or I get a just a, like a caramel macchiato. Okay, okay. Ice. okay. I'm an iced girl. Oh, okay, cool. I was about to say. I was like, do you get it? You be getting uh... I, I I get an ice. I mean, in the in the in the winter, you know, I do a little. I do a little hot, but. For the most part, I'm an ice queen. Hot coffee be having me standing over the stove like I got a man. <laughs> I can't. It's not. I be like, girl. Not like, like I got a man. Let me go make the bed. <laughs> like, I can't. I love coffee. Like, yeah, no, that's my my daily starter. And then, you said, what else is in my bag? Yeah. Like, what's your bag? What's in your bag to make sure you don't, like, that you stay sane? Oh, I have to have my composition book. I was just about to ask if you keep a notebook. Yeah. I can only imagine. I don't write, like, I don't write notes in my phone like that. I literally have to, like... Wait, hold write on, it. y'all. I'm doing a color purple clap because <laughs> I don't find my tribe. I have to write things down. Like, you're like, why don't you use Google and put it in note? Oh like, I'm God. like, I just, I'm old school. Like, I just, I need to have my composition. It's I the best way to retain a, information. It's a matter of manifestation as well. I feel no, like when you're yes, writing yes, something yeah. down, yeah. it's like I'm For putting sure. it out there that matters physically oh my with my hand. It's like work. People it's be talking work. to the Lord like he ain't got a billion other people on the earth. Girl, write that note down and yeah. keep it in. So he can go back. So keep it in the drawer because the I Lord needs to flip through your journal yeah, sometimes. You gotta come back and like look at it. I know he's see. sweaty as hell in heaven. Talking about again? <laughs> Not you, the Lord is sweating. Can you file this, please? I feel like Jesus doesn't sweat. Yeah, but girl, not my Lord. <laughs> <laughs> my Lord is hot. <laughs> my Lord is very tired. <laughs> I don't know about your Jesus, but <laughs> the one I talk to. No, seriously. Yeah. No. Yeah. Girl, he overwhelmed. Yeah. For sure. I already know. Okay, so your coffee composition, your composition notebook, and then is there like one more thing? What is like one more thing? I have to have. Um, Wow, there's so much stuff in my purse, guys. It's really kind of (laughs) like no scary. Um, Hey, I'm a Scorpio too. My purse is chaotic. Literally, yeah. But everything I need is in one place. It's beautiful. Lotion, butters. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I got all that. Um, But my wallet my has like pictures. And like notes, I keep some notes that I just had, just keep in my wallet, like that like little, affirmations. Yeah. Oh. So I have that always in my. In Do you my find room. yourself taking them out and reading them, or does it just make you feel comfortable to just, just know that you have? Yeah, it just yeah. makes me comfortable to have it because I don't mm. even use that wallet, honestly. Wow. Mm. I use like a little mini wallet, but I have another bigger one that I just. Okay, I thought that was just me because I do the same thing. Like I'll write affirmations yeah. in a notebook or put it in my wallet. I used to keep fortune cookies and like write on the back of them. That's actually yeah. really cool. Yeah, so if I get, like, a positive fortune, I would just collect all of them and just, like, put them inside my wallet or something oh, like that. Oh, wow. But I followed this girl online. She created cards of, like, money manifestation. So mm-hmm. she had business cards that, like, have money manifestations on them, and she keeps oh, wow. them inside of her wallet. And I was like, hold on now, girl. That's really cool. You might have done this song yeah. with that one. Cause yeah, because manifestation is very real. People would just be talking in the air, and I'm like, girl, if you don't got down, put that thing to paper... For real, no. It's it's very it's very real. It's very important. Um, people say they 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 mix it. They're like, what's the difference between a prayer and a manifestation? And it's just like I feel like those are distant cousins. Yeah, there's like, like that's the thing you do, you know, before you get to the prayer part. Like you have to write it down. You have to put in the word and the before you put the action in. You so, have to have right. a plan for whoever yeah. you're talking to. So mm-hmm. whether that be yourself or whether you, you know or any type of like you know entity or you know universal type of spiritual thing that you believe in like if you can't talk to the universe and say xyz if you do not have a plan of action for yourself right so it's like you know what i'm saying so not only that but i feel like being i i I realized a lot too that i would try to manifest from a place of me just wanting things Mm -hmm. instead of me like trying to manifest like the character traits that could 
you know, sustain whatever I was asking for. Yeah. Mm. So I that's feel like wonderful. a lot of times, like, people don't understand, like, you have to be the person that's able to receive whatever you're asking for. So people just be talking into their ass and out the air. I be like, baby, <laughs> baby, how you going to ask God and for, you're not, no and you're not even doing the work. Yeah, you're and you're not even the work. Per- wow. Are you the type of person that could sustain this type of animal in your life? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like Trying to manifest the dog. <laughs> like, what? And sleeping Can't next to Can't even walk girl. yourself. And and sleeping next to one. Okay. <laughs> I can't. Not sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> like, not sleeping next to the dog. I can't. Girl, you already got the dog. <laughs> that is so He's right there. You've been praying for you him. You just eat different. That's the only thing. That's why you got you to gotta be specific. That's why you, That's a, yes. anytime you say a prayer, yeah. the manifestation is yeah. you, like you guys said, the manifestation is you preparing the strategy and the prayer is you being specific and yeah. really asking, like, Faith okay, I've work thought about dead, these things, and this sure. is what I want. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. I love that. Oh, and snacks. Okay. Snacks. Okay, thank God. Thank God. Yeah, I, was I, like, had it like, I was like, wait. That's I was like, does my love much? eat? <laughs> Me and more. It's, we can't have you out here hangry. have to have snacks, or I'm a grouch. Like, <laughs> Okay, we are all on the same type of time, because yeah. the way we have to eat. Yeah, I at least have to have some, like, like nuts or like some oh. gummy, like something. Oh, like crazy or something. Mm-hmm. I just, uh, I can't. Or we all not happy that day. <laughs> no, literally, I would literally be laying down and crying. Like, why y'all want to talk to me talking about some work? Ain't no work today. <laughs> Ain't no work today. That is so funny. Yeah. Okay, well, earlier you were mentioning how you are from L.A. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we did have some questions about that. We wanted to know what was the tr- what was the transition like coming from L.A. to ATL? When That's did you get here? Sure. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, you don't went from um, easy e to to, yeah. to ludicrous. Like, I went like, from you know only black girl in the room to in the room with all the black girls. <laughs> no, you know absolutely. what I mean? Like, but I was just so and and I was such in awe of it because it's like I just never seen that before. Like even growing up, I was literally it was like me and like three other kids in the suburbs of like I was living in like Rancho Cucamonga. Okay, you know the yeah. Yeah. Rancho Cucamonga. Oh, yeah. Rancho Cucamonga. Yeah. Cucum- um, Rancho Cucamonga. I've been there. Y'all got a good mall. <laughs> yeah, we. I'm on. I'm on the valley. I'm on that side. I'm on the IE in the area. Valley. So that was just my life. So moving here, it was just like, whoa, this is nuts. Like, I and mean, everybody was beautiful. You and the sea and M&Ms. Yes, I was just like, this is this is amazing. And I just never really wanted to go back. Like, I love the vibe here. I. I like I love the culture here. Like I love LA, but I could never live there ever in my life. Do you feel like a lot of people are kind of trying to make that transition or do you find yourself running into people from LA coming to Atlanta and being like, "Ah, oh, this isn't really my vibe, a little too slow." And then kind of deciding like, "I got to get back to that that faster life. I got to get back to the warm air." Like, what have you experienced? The thing about it, it's LA is, is actually pretty chill. It's it's okay. it's it's chi- it's like New York, but it's just a chill version of it with good weather. Like okay. it's it's hustle, but it's just I feel different. so bad. Like I've never been out west. I'm, no, <laughs> the farthest I've been like out west is like New Orleans. Ah, I'm so uncultured. Ah. You gotta go. It's I always tell people it's a great place <laughs> We're to go. visit. It's definitely a place you have to visit. But I feel like a lot of people transition to LA just for. I I have no idea. They Maybe saw it for on work. TV. Yeah, like. There's some people that really like the vibe of it. And it's just like, if that works for you, you know what I mean? No, I can feel that. I mean, if we do have good weather. You can go to the beach every day. Like, you know what I'm saying? There are more opportunities in jobs yeah. out there. It's just how you're going to get them. Because you're not going to get them how we get it. Like, word of, like how we yeah. kind of, like, put people on. Or it's like, not the same out there. It's, no, not, like, it's not the same out there. on your own. Like, you got to figure it out. Like, hustle, hustle. Yeah, you got to hustle. It's, yeah. it's like... It's, it's literally like that's so great. Like yeah, Atlanta is the same thing with Atlanta. Like, you, it takes one word of mouth mm-hmm. to either make or break you out here. Yeah. and a lot of people don't really realize that. I mean, unfortunately, it doesn't work like that with the men. But um, <laughs> so yeah, so yeah. No, All my jobs are from word of mouth here. Every yeah. single last one of them. Anytime yeah. so I, I met somebody, relate. like yeah, anybody. Anytime I've met somebody, anything I've done, like it's just me, like putting my foot in the door and talking to somebody. I was gonna say, like one thing I don't. I don't understand. What's up with West Coast rap? Like, how you mad but you live by the beach? It's so different. Like, you are really crazy. Like, because I, I say, agree. I'm, a, I'm from Decatur, so. I, we I, don't got no water over here, baby. I'm mad Ain't as hell. Flowing. Ain't nothing but concrete and Big Bear over here. And you talk, and Kent LaRoe, and you talking about you mad by the beach. If you don't they put don't your feet in the sand. Go to the beach. Some of them never even left. They don't put, they don't take the Cortez's off to dip the toes. Mm. You'd be surprised. They got the Cortezes <laughs> in the water. Yeah, they got the. They, they can't show the their feet. <laughs> you would be so surprised. 
but wow. it's just different. It's just the vibes different. Like I said, I, I love, I love it, I love it, but I just can't live there. It yeah. just, no, I can see that, especially now that you transition somewhere where there is not only other Negroes, yeah, but you can literally go. <laughs> to the beat you, you can go you can literally yeah. fly out and just do whatever you want but like mm-hmm. I, the energy here i feel i don't think people understand like i don't know why i keep talking about energy like i'm literally like a hippie but like the energy <laughs> like in la from what i've heard is so heavy it is. okay it, like and i've heard that hollywood like just california in itself like la hollywood like it's just the en- energetically over there like it's very heavy because of the history of california yeah and especially the history of hollywood so i know a lot of people who are natives who literally will come like somewhere else and they're like i feel like i can let my hair down out here oh yeah like i can really breathe for sure my brother says that all the time yeah. like he's like i go to the club i don't feel like i don't feel like i gotta like wait in atlanta tip to- yeah when he comes to atlanta yeah there's there's no beef out there's no here beef. there's like oh, cause, like cause realistically can't organize to have gangs in the summer. yeah i was gonna say yeah, no, like there's no beef he's like there's no real life yeah you beef. can't even wear like a hat like a, my brother lives out in la he was saying he can't wear certain hats Uh-oh. certain colors and no. i'm like because niggas do not yeah. play that like That's i'm jamaican i'm wearing eight colors at once i don't even know what <laughs> somebody repping all them i'm gonna take the hat off yeah. love it go with the shoes there's like, a lot of places you can just wear sneakers yeah. with for the girls too it's like no you can't dress like that i'm just like wait they it like it's rules for ladies yeah you have to look up you have to you gotta carry yourself a certain certain way way for sure to get into now i'm not gonna say it's all places because it's it's not but i'm saying it's no no i I feel like i'm not gonna be like in atlanta i can go to the club and wear a dress with some really fire sneakers yeah nobody's gonna say anything to me nobody but and that's where i want to be at yeah la you gotta wear heels to get into the club you gotta have on a certain type of dress they do i would wear this i would wear this on a saturday night to the club i might change my shoes out you know because i gotta i gotta gotta do something else with the feet but at the end of the day i'm in a club chilling i'm standing in the station I'm not, and now, I got I'm my thinking about it, like, now that i'm thinking about it i'm thinking about how i literally was in doc martin's in the club yeah, exactly <laughs> like exactly. i got on my 14s As like that doesn't make be. no sense we literally we literally, literally was comfortable. in the club with tight jeans and boots and sneakers on and i'm like we country as hell girl because <laughs> she's talking about you can't even girl i couldn't i would literally cry and throw up if somebody told me i couldn't have some damn sneakers on in the club uh, yeah what it's the, uncomfortable in this concrete jungle where no. where things are made yeah are you serious like, <laughs> like get out of it. here i couldn't do it that so. is so funny so i noticed just like in general just uh you know following you on instagram and things like you really love to travel or or maybe you travel for work i'm not really sure if it's a love or if it's a work situation but yeah. it seems like you're happy so tell us a little <laughs> bit, so, you know, tell us a little bit about your traveling experience oh, okay. what's your favorite place oh my yeah. gosh my traveling is like if I could like it is like my mental health. I learn about myself so much. That is just my peace of mind. If I could be like a traveling influencer, I would transition into you that. Actually, could I you could? Well, yeah, but I want to get work. like get literally paid to just travel and take. You want the pitch. money? I want yeah. the money. Period. And but I, where have I gone? Um. The the best place so far I've been was China Oops. because oh nice. Um, I went there for myself, but we went there when I was trying to, when we were working on our brand, when I had one, um, and I just got to see just another perspective of life, and I was just, it was just fun being out there, like, it was just different, and that was my first international, like, for real trip. How long were you there for? I was there for, like, eight days. Eight oh, that's nice. Days. Oh, nice. I feel like when you travel internationally, you have to go for no, seven you, plus days. I'm, that's, how I'm, that's how I'm doing yeah. It's really hard to do those two and three day trips. How, how I'm supposed to see uh, Mexico in one day? Like, girl, bye. Yeah, yeah. The, the jet lag is too much, Mexico. too, especially when you're tra- you're going overseas. Like, if you're going to Europe or if you're going to Japan or if you're yeah, going you to, like, Australia, week. you're going to need that you're gonna need that seven days plus. Yeah. yeah. Paris was really fun. <gasps> Paris. We went for Fashion Week, so I got did to, you like, to eat anything? Fashion Week. Oh, I, what did I? I was eating all types of stuff. I really, I, I try anything. I'm one oh of those people God. that will I already love you. try anything once. My mom raised me like I that. would eat a lemon pepper foot. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> 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 Awesome, but I just like the vibe of it. Literally, uh, it was just Fashion so, Week mm. Paris. That's like the biggest fashion. No, week, right? literally, no, like I Milan. No, um, yeah, Milan or London is actually okay. People okay, say cool. biggest Paris, but it's actually I just learned this too. I was like, oh yeah, Paris. Paris. They're like, no, we actually, mean? it's like Milan or uh or London or something. One of them. Okay, okay, I can see that. I, f- I feel like everybody like after they do New York, they immediately head over to London. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, okay. it's that a lineup sense. like that. Like they have it set up. Just so you can do exactly like that. That's so cool. That's very fun. Mm-hmm. Okay, so 
question for you because okay. I really like your outfit. And you guys can't see. I'm not sure if you guys will see later, but she's dressed like super uber cute. Yes. <laughs> but like a um, question for you, because I know you, you really like are very intentional about your mental health and like taking time for yourself. Mm -hmm. How do you feel like your personal style? Like, do you feel like your personal style is a reflection of that? Like, you know, like, do you do things like do you put on certain clothes to make yourself feel better? Because I know like some people are really big on that type of energy. Yeah. I met I actually met a woman who was a stylist who styled you like after a reading. To make she would literally go through your closet and like dump everything out. So she does the reading and then styles you. Yeah, she wow. like she'll do a reading for wow. you and she'll tell you like she'll throw out like low vibrational clothing and like literally revamp your whole mm. wardrobe. Wow. Yes, That's and I'm not, yeah, intense. yeah. It really is intense, but like I really did not realize like how. It was how important it was to be intentional about what you put on, whether it, you know what I'm saying, because that's such a big, that For self validation sure. is such a big point. So, like, how do you feel about that? I'm a moody, I'm a moody dresser. Of course, Scorpio, yes. Yes, yeah. yeah, so it's yes, like yes, yes. I, I dress off of my mood. So, if I'm in a chill time, like, I'm going to wear sweats, a t shirt, and a hat and call it a day. Like, that's just no, it. Period. But I'm still going to dress it up and put my all my jewelry on. Yeah, and, of course, of course. You know, course. put them a little razzle dazzle. I know how we do, girl. Yeah, you know, but no, like, you know, I, I dress based off how I feel for sure. Um, and, but I feel like regardless, confidence is going to come out of it. Yeah. I could look so retarded. And if I'm confident, I <laughs> promise you, people will be like, I love your outfit. And I'm just like, this is wild. I feel like because, <laughs> you know, it's so crazy. I'll be saying the same thing. Like, Nick, you, you being like extra Caribbean today. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm not because this is just my personality. Yeah. So like, I'm just wearing what is a reflection of like my character. Yeah. And I realized too, like now that I'm getting older, like my mom used to always say, "Girl, you need to dress like how you feel." And she's like, "She said one thing you can always." My mom always used to say, "Like one thing people can say about me is that I never look how, like how I feel." And she was like, "You know, my inner feelings should not be a reflection of how I'm looking physically because that, uh, you know, that is also a part of my personal morale." So just because I feel like Dookie doesn't mean I need to put on, you know, right. a, a mumu and some Tims. It's the you know first thing people see about <laughs> exactly. you when they Please see Please don't wear a mumu and some Tims and come by me. Why? Why not? I'm, what you I'm gonna, gonna do? disown your ass. What you gonna do? That's not my friend, y'all. We gonna fly to the club. <laughs> <laughs> not with this mumu and some Tims. Okay. What? Still pulling. Can't claim it. Not okay. still pulling. Still beat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You are crazy. I be feeling that though, because I'm like, even though you, I feel like you're on some chill stuff today. You really got you put that thing on. Well, yeah, like your you. personality, no, 100 percent is shining. Yeah, she oh, like no, for real. It's wonderful. It's giving Cleo, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's right. I'm crying. Okay, so let's get some tips. You know, I feel like our audience really wants to hear from you and kind of learn some things from you. So tips for newbies on what you wouldn't change and what you would change about your career. Okay. What I would, what I wouldn't change about my career. Um, I've met so many, I met so many people, right? Like I, like I said, I, I get all my jobs based off, based off of word of mouth. So that means you really got good. Yeah. Really I good build vibes. connections. Yeah. That and, people. Talk, mm -hmm. and I talk to, I talk to everybody on set. I talk to, the cleaning person I talk to you know what I mean like you talk to everybody you just because you never know why people are there and yeah. then they already might you know that that six degrees of separation you just might like oh I like your vibe you never know who you're talking to I think you people don't understand never that never you know need to who be, you're talking to you gotta to. be kind to everybody yeah like and so um, what would I what would I what wouldn't I change I'm trying to figure that out okay. <laughs> um what wouldn't I change I wouldn't. I wouldn't change anything. Honest. I, like I, I know that. that's so like no, to say, it's but not. It's, it's not like, I'm a Scorpio, so I wouldn't change. I, anything. I have no regret. I was no, no regret. No regret. Yeah. To me, <laughs> no full regrets. speed ahead, and I'll figure it out when it gets yeah. here. And I know that I'm capable. Y'all Scorpios. I'm a Gemini. <laughs> I don't already survey thirteen different. <laughs> ways this could roll out ain't no regrets ain't you no don't regret yeah okay. no i don't have any um but i would learn which i'm i've learned in my my later days it's like um i read something that says find find what is your piece after like the storm like so mm. like oh, i said that, you that's have really to good. know that's what good. your once you leave the chaotic situation like what are your what's going to help you build back into getting you back into the system or into your groove of whatever it is because i like I, what I, is I, your foundation I, yeah, yeah like what, exactly what, what are you gonna go back to like when this is over once yeah. your chaos is gone and so 
you know, I've learned that, and I'm like, I think that's so important. I, I genuinely think that is the most important. It's talking to people, knowing what you're going to do um, when the dust settles, and then, um, I mean, I don't know. This, I don't know. It's different now a little bit. Social media makes it a little bit different for me to even hire uh, people just off of the fact of, are you here for, are you really yeah. here for it? Or are you or, here yeah. to take pictures and say you was just exactly. here? Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, um, you got to show people that you really want it. Like, yeah. you, I, sh- I used to ride the bus, take a train, walk, and do all this stuff just to get to this, to um, one my mentor's, like, a store, and just to do, like, the, um, the set, like, what is it? You in the store and you have to dress the clothes and the mannequins. Oh, the, like oh the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, like, I used to have to do that. The styling and, inside the store. Yeah, the styling yeah. inside the store before she gave me, like, a job to be like, okay, you want to come assist me on set and you want to come over here and do that? You have to yeah. show. You have to put in that work. I think that's what people People forget. just want to ask you and just think they're supposed to just get it. And I just yeah. feel like people got to learn how to just put the work in. So I always tell people, I'm like... Try it with your friends first. Go yeah, yes. take exactly. pictures with your do friends. It for free. That, yeah, that, yes. try it that's with what your e, friends. That's what Issa Rae says. Offer them across. those services. That yes. networking across. And that's the problem, like trading and bartering things. Because the amount of times that I've worked with so many different artists, photographers out here, and then they can call me later, I got it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or vice versa. But it's like, people don't really understand that. And then I think another thing, too, what I love and I admire so much about Scorpio people and just like that you know, specific placement is that you guys have such a beautiful ability to reinvent yourselves. Mm. So it's like, you guys literally like that. That's why I feel like the representation of the Phoenix is so spot on because it literally is coming from Ash. And it's like anybody that I know that is a Scorpio, they're able to shed that skin and be a new person and take those experiences and not, you know, necessarily like project that onto other people. But you guys are just, it's like the, the lust for life is just always still there. And there's always going to be something to ignite that. And you guys just have that internally, which is like, I, I, which is what I love so much. And you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't need to beat on anybody else's drum. Y'all got your own, yeah, you know, yeah, rhythm absolutely. going on. I love that. And that is so true. <laughs> I, like, everything you said was gospel. That's just my, yes. that's just my observation. <laughs> I'm going re- I'm gonna to be reflecting on that for yeah, the next for couple sure. days. Like, ooh, I'm a phoenix. Yes. <laughs> so you would definitely say that working in the industry that you work in with styling and everything, how you... How you, the first step is that you probably need to put in that work. And yeah. would ethic. you advise that people to running. find a mentor and find someone that they can work with and work under? Or is it something that they can kind of create and manifest on their own without yeah. having that, um, I think something to look to. I think at this point you can manifest and do it on your own. Yeah. Of course, there's always, you want people to help you. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I have to have I have to have assistance too. So I, once when I don't feel like doing the, the jobs that I don't feel like are for me, I can pass them on yeah, to that's, somebody that's a big else. Part that's of the community. How, that's how yeah, it's supposed to go. You're supposed to pass it down. So my thing is, um, yeah, yeah, no, like the the worth ethic of it. Um, I, I lost I lost my train of thought. Hey, <laughs> what, wait, what's the here. question? We you were, dropping gems. We were uh, you were asking you how like what advice you would give to anybody who's like starting out or whatever. Oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. No you're fine. No you're so, still on no, track. It's still, That's a killer group. It's still it, it, I think you can manifest it yourself. Like I said, if it's you have to work with you got to find your Emmy way. You got to find your photographer friends. You like, need that team, that community, build that of resume. Yeah exactly. I ask I used to ask all my friends like can I just can you guys just come over? I'm just gonna just put you guys in my clothes and we're just gonna do a quick little photo shoot. Like, yeah. And I kept doing that, and that was just my thing. Like, so I think people can do it now. There's so many resources now that, like, you could watch YouTube's and master classes. You can literally create. You, you can, can create go. You can teach yourself. yourself everything from scratch, yeah. which is why I'm like, I try to tell people that, like, you need to focus. I think a lot of people don't know, like, your interpersonal relationships, the level mm. of charisma that you have, like, your ability to be personable and able to talk to people. Mm-hmm. That's what you have. That's what creates a revolving door of people wanting to network and, and connect with you. And I don't think people understand that. And they just do. They have such an off personality to where they're just either too scared to ask for help mm-hmm. or they feel like they might be too above to even have any help. Mm-hmm. And I feel like people just need to start from a humble Asking place. Asking for help, I feel like, is the number one thing yep. that gets people to their highest self. Listen, yeah. I don't and have, I think listen. a lot of people don't understand. 
a lot of people miss that. They think that asking for help makes them it's the seem vulnerability. Weak, or the it vulnerability. makes them or it yeah. makes them seem like they're not capable. But it's like exactly the opposite. Asking for help is a really really hard thing to do. But having that so little necessary. bit of assistance so to necessary. bring your vision to life can take something from a 60% to an 100%. Oh, exactly. And you did it with your team. And exactly. now everybody can Everybody's winning. pull from think, that credit uh-huh. and elevate from I think the that problem is space. that people do not want to accredit their success to them having a community or a team because they feel like that invalidates you know what they've gone through mm, man. and i feel like a lot of times that happens a lot like within the black community especially because I'll we don't you know it. we don't want to tell anybody about those bad people mm. or those people that might be under us who've helped us you know actually climb up those mm-hmm. ladders to get where we are but those people are valuable stepping stones in us becoming the people that we are and that's that's how i can tell that you're you know that you're actually like a sweet person because like people don't understand that that janitor could be a ceo mm-hmm. he could be somebody who's actually in a trade or school. he could be the ceo's best friend exactly. and he's the person that the ceo talks to exactly yeah. to on, get, a re- on a regular to, basis to figure out who exactly. he's gonna hire yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's what I'm my dad is literally an immigrant and everything my dad is from jamaica the uh, riverdale st Catherine, jamaica he literally used to always tell me he was like you always 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 are mindful about what you say to people and how you treat people because he said you never know that janitor could be in charge one day yep. and but even then it's just a level of having respect of everybody in the room and i feel like yeah, people don't understand that basic people human kindness re- girl people don't respect the models the photographer the stylist like yeah none of it uh, that assistance only a lot of the people that i've had only made it because they went an extra mile exactly they they sent me an email sent the resume they was already doing work before they even yeah. came to me so it's like you you've already been trying. Yeah, like, I can see you that put you've the effort. Trying. You put the effort in. Yeah, you put effort in, and that's that's how, how they make it. They make it and give them the jobs. And people, but people day. be thinking it's as easy as dressing Just, the part, looking yes. the part, and showing oh, up. Oh my mm-hmm. gosh, people do not understand styling is none of that. Girl, if that was the case, I'd be president of the United <laughs> States. Like what the <laughs> hell? Like girl, what? It's like none get out of here. That. You what, girl? Get out of here. Oh my gosh, that is so interesting. Yeah, so y'all listen. You wanna play icebreakers? Yeah. We we we've had a really good conversation. Cleo has dropped some super gems on us. But we wanna, you know, we wanna lighten the mood up a little bit and kinda close out the show with some icebreaker questions that we have. Um, so we're just gonna ask a few these questions are random. They have nothing to do with the conversation at hand. This <laughs> is us just feeling the vibe and you know, giving you guys a little something different that you may not have gotten from a free-flowing conversation. Yeah, so let me see. We are going to be playing... Um, we're going to be playing... What's the name of this game again? This game... We're Not Really Strangers. Yeah, We're Not Really Strangers. We're, we're learning about each other. Looks, so, yeah, this gonna this, yeah the name of this game is... <laughs> <laughs> we're not really strangers. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. This game gets super transparent. I definitely was crying and throwing up the other day when I was playing with my friends. <laughs> I'm not throwing up. So we are gonna go ahead and dive in. We do have tissues here just in case. <laughs> but um, let's see. What do you think is the hardest part of what you do for a living? Um, it's probably you know the off days when I don't have confidence to feel like I'm really that person everybody says I am. You know mm. what I mean? I'm in it. So so I don't see it the same as people who just are, you know, on the outside like, oh no, you got this. Yeah. You know what I mean? I have my days too. I'm human. Like I'm that's the hardest part. It's like you you know, when you actually are this person though. You know what I mean? Like you do have to tell yourself like you actually are the person that you want to be and who you're trying to be. So that's it. Confidence is I always tell people it's ninety percent confidence, ten percent everything else. That's how I've gotten this far. Listen, so. that's a bar. Cause that's really facts. Because I've literally walked into a lot of rooms just off of me being like, "Yo, I'm here and I need to be here." Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Or yeah. I want to be here. Yeah, you're supposed to be here. Not, exactly. I belong. You know what I'm saying? Like here. I belong here. You're uh-huh. not. Cre- you're not opening the door for me. I let myself in. Right. <laughs> yep. Okay. Well, next question. Let's see. What do my shoes tell you about me. I mean, honestly, you don't really have to answer based on my shoes. I'm not really stepping today, y'all. Please. Let me see what don't you got look on at my today. feet. Some fucking Cortez. Some Cortez. Yeah, yeah. These are, are my these are my, <laughs> these are my chill. These are my chill shoes. Those are comfortable though. Yes, yes they're me, uh, so comfy. What, what do her shoes say about her? That you an LA? My sh- yeah. That you don't dip my- a toe. That you walk into the beach. Yeah, <laughs> you walk- period. <laughs> You walk into the I ocean. wear my I wear my socks with my sandals in the ocean. You walk straight into the ocean raw. 
What about y'all <laughs> shoes? Let's talk about because y'all actually y'all got on some shoes today. I got on a Michigan Dunks. I think like yeah, I got I'll the Michigan's on. The easy zone because it's just comfortable. You're a drown. Mm. Yeah, look. <laughs> okay. <laughs> look comfy Crocs. Kanye Not your friend, yeah, nah, I love me We all we all got that fit on today. Don't even I, let. Kelly I was gonna say, down. I think our shoes and our outfits just say that we are aligned. No, that's just it. Because we because wow. we be putting them things on. I'm not even gonna sit here and hey. because we got some shoe game. I, didn't even I like these though. Those <laughs> Thank are you. good. Thank you. Oh, we got some heat. We got some junior bacon lady heat. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. I feel like when we walk into parties, like. A lot of dudes are kind of some girls. They be looking at our feet like, oh, be, no, hold really. up. They be like, yo, what she know? <laughs> Wait about? a minute, what she know about the shoes? And then they try to come over like, oh, who bought you those shoes? <laughs> Your boyfriend? My job. It's like, no, <laughs> I actually picked these out. Thank you so Thank much. You. <laughs> my boyfriend, I bought him them shoes. Actually, he didn't even know. <laughs> I got my boyfriend stepping. Like, Ariana. <laughs> if you must know. <laughs> like, do you think that, I, I'm going to say, do you think you intimidate others? Why Ooh. or why not? She is Scorpio girl. Why are you asking that? I, I oh. intimidate, I think I intimidate <laughs> um, niggas. I don't think I intimidate Absolutely. people. Niggas. I, you know, I think just and based men, off my career. We all know men are not people. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> when, she, <laughs> when she mean niggas, she mean like niggas, wiggas, piggas. Um, <laughs> not piggers. <laughs> this lady's uh, sick. Men, <laughs> the male species. Um, yeah, no, I think yeah. Because why think, do you think you intimidate um, men in particular? Yeah, just off of my career. Mm. I'm in the room with a lot of girl. Different that energy people. is captivating. You probably be in there. They be <laughs> no, shaking. When I met you, I wasn't intimidated. I was calm. Girl, they be like, shaking in like, that G Star denim. Oh, this feels good. Yeah, like, I would hope. I hope my energy is calm and chill. But to women, is. is to me, is I'm like, I'm like, shit. She a confident yeah. girl. She got a yellow hat on. She chilling, living a life. She got a yellow but hat. Men on. always tell me like, I was so, you know, I didn't know. I was so type scared to approach you, you like when I'm I looked like, away. Like, yeah, I'm like, I actually, I'm really goofy and like, I'm very chill. But they don't. They don't. See, see that, that. They, know, no. the perception is based off of like yeah, social media. yeah not even social media like a man a man will meet you if you are a woman that you you know what i'm saying like you got that self-validation mm-hmm. online you love yourself you know your worth all that type of stuff they be oh, like the, all, show. the audacity of this helpful i really think <laughs> so they're, no, that, that they're just genuinely me. confused because it's not something that they can relate to more mm-hmm. so than anything and not <laughs> Hey, I'm just speaking generally. I'm not, I'm not say saying all that men all men live in deep delusion. But I think there are a lot of men who just lack like that level of confidence, that and inner that, that inner light. And so when they feel it on you, they're like, "I'm not used to this." I and hate to I say don't know, I'm this. afraid. Yeah, this but, this is. I'm I'm scared of this because yeah. it's not something that I've even it's experienced unfamiliar. myself. Uh-huh. Yeah. So yeah, that is very. That I think it's different true. for us too because as women we have to create that level of self validation because of our beauty standards and what uh-huh. society says about us, and especially as Black women because as soon as you come out the gate, they tell you that you are not worthy and lots of mm. other things. And I feel like it's the same thing for Black men, but I, uh, because we're women and we have to deal with a different level of you know like of the the nitty group part of society, we have to harden ourselves a little bit more so we have to create that foundation so it's like a lot of times with men you know because of patriarchy they have these systems in play that they feel like they take value from so they feel like okay cool well if i don't got no money this and this and this with women they're like girl you ain't got shit you're gonna have to figure something out whether it's your ears or your ankles you're gonna have to love something about yourself (laughs) but you know but for men they're like shit i ain't got no money i ain't got no job don't nobody want me girls we be like shit don't nobody want me but i gotta still work yeah right yeah (laughs) you know like that's what they base it off of. And Literally. I believe that. That's, wow. That's, yeah. That's a word. That is a weird. That's, that's, damn. That's what we I am thinking. Spitting. I intimidate people because I know who I but, am. You uh, know who you uh, are. Girl, the minute you know who you are, niggas be crying and throwing up. <laughs> that's the thing. Okay. <laughs> that's the problem. It, it's so hard. I feel like it's just hard for people in general. Yes. To just, it's like, overwhelming. When you know who you mm-hmm. are. It's intimidating. They can't tell you who you are. And yeah. I think that that really bothers people because I think a lot of people gain their own self-worth by being able to tell people who, who they, they are. are exactly. They That's a level of validation for them. Cause imagine you feel like you spent your whole life not knowing who you are. You can look at somebody and tell that they're also broken and you might be able to read them a little bit more because you might be hardened, but people can't nobody look at Nicolay Imani Palmer today. Oh, 
Yes, girl, with an That's E. Nice. Okay. They can't <laughs> oh, look at me. me. Okay, they cannot look at me and be like, oh, I oh, you so and so, you this and that. Girl, I pay my phone bill, my rent, I got a dog at the house. Can't nobody tell me nothing about Come nothing on. about me, baby. That's a cute dog. Too. Okay. And he's adorable. <laughs> okay, so well, ladies, yes, we yeah. have done our thing today. We I really did. You know what? We were actually aligned not only physically with our appearances, but just with this conversation. I just feel like we dropped so many gems on our listeners today. Yes. Round of applause for us. Thank you so much, Cleo. For Thank you. For I'm so, so happy to be here. I, you know, I was so nervous. I'm like, you know, hearing myself talk or just, you know, yeah. you never know. It'd be but, so cringe listening to my voice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was just like, oh, my God. But I'm like, I'm super happy you guys invited me. Like, no problem. Really cool. Do you have anything like you feel like, I don't know, something you feel like you took from today's conversation that you just want to talk to the audience about? I'm, I'm, I'm here because... Of myself and I'm uh, that <laughs> and you know what I mean the energy uh, feels good like so I'm just like I'm just I'm happy that the energy I'm putting out is coming back and I'm able to be in the same room with you guys mm. who are like you know what I mean <laughs> doing something for yourselves I always love when I see people working on themselves or doing stuff that they believe in like I think it's so cool so I'm happy. be yourself bitch that's the list <laughs> 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 hallelujah <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a witness? <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming. Um, again, y'all, this is Hers and Hers, and you can pretty much check us out on any platform that you like. Follow Click us all the, on Instagram. Follow us all on Instagram. Click the link in our bio if you want to find out more information on how you can listen to Hers and Hers, and if you want to find more on Cleo A. Again, my name is Taylor. I am Nicolay, a.k.a. Nick. And we are signing out. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye.